the dreams, the images, they still haunt me, night after night, like a paperboy that wants his two dollars. The biggest question that I see, whether it's posted on my videos or in online forums, and Facebook and all over the interwebs, is how far can I talk using a GMRS radio? First of all, if you're gonna ask that question, at least use the proper technical terminology and nomenclature. The correct way to ask is, how many fars can I tox? And if you ask this question online, you will most likely get a bunch of long, drawn out answers full of technical jargon and words that only radio dorks understand. And that if you understood, you wouldn't need to ask the question, but fear not because as usual, I'm here to answer this type of common question in a way that anyone can understand, anyone, even you, my favorite viewer. And the short, simple answer to how many fars can I tox on GMRS or using a GMRS radio, the short, simple answer is, it depends. In my experience, my real world experience, not reading from a book or a spec sheet, but actually using pretty much every GMRS radio on the market, out in the real world, adventuring, or sometimes on my couch. My real world experience tells me that all GMRS radios transmit pretty much the same distance if and when they're using the same power and if and when they're using a good, decent, working, properly functioning antenna. Let me clarify. So any five watt handheld radio that actually puts out four or five watts and has an antenna that functions decently will transmit the same number of FARs than any other five watt GMRS radio with a decently functioning antenna. Any 50 watt mobile GMRS radio using a decently functioning antenna will transmit pretty much the same number of FARs as any other 50 watt mobile GMRS radio. Watt for watt, pretty much all radios, there's no one brand that talks further. There's no special tweaks or hacks you can do. They all pretty much transmit the same number of FARs. Not exactly the same. There are differences. And if you were to put them on a scope or an oscillometer or a gigahertz machine monitor, there are differences. But when using a human ear out in the real world, real use case scenarios, not in the basement connected to a bunch of fancy equipment. They're pretty much the same. Either you can hear them or you can't. Maybe one radio is a little fuzzier or staticier than another radio, but they're all pretty much the same. Not exactly the same, but very, very close. There's also very little difference in the number of FARs on a radio that transmits, say, five watts versus a radio that transmits seven or eight watts. You really don't start seeing any big jumps in FARs until you go from say five watts to 20 watts or from 20 watts to 50 watts. 50 watts is better. You will get more FARs on 50 watts than on five watts, but one more watt does not mean one more extra FAR. You have to make big increases in the number of wattage before you start seeing significant increases in FARs. But 50 is better than five. Now I've made several videos talking about how many FARs you can talk on a GMRS radio and on many of those videos, in fact, probably every one. Many experts, experts, and I don't mean sad hams, I mean your everyday run-of-the-mill morons, have called me a liar saying that my the ranges that I get, the distances of FARs, the number of FARs that I'm able to get are impossible. They call me a liar, a fraudster, a near-do-well. For example, uh, in one of the videos that I made a year or so ago where I talked from my Jeep to my wife's Jeep in the garage and I was 35 miles away. Many of those experts said I made it up. I was lying, it was impossible. Or when I say that I sit on my couch and I'm able to reach a GMRS repeater from the couch using a five watt walkie talkie that is 69 miles away. Many of those experts claim it is impossible, simply impossible. It violates the laws of physics because of the curvature of the earth and the space time continuum or something else that they obviously don't understand. And what those retards mean to say, and yes, I did just use the word retard, and if that makes you sad, if that hurts your heart, I do not care. What they mean to say is that where they live, talking that far would be impossible, and I'm just too stupid to realize that other people may live in different areas with different terrains from where I live. 
That's what they mean to say. So this brings us back full circle to the original question, how many FARs can I tox on a GMRS radio? And the answer is, it depends. It depends on your terrain. It depends on what is between you and your walkie-talkie or your antenna and what you're trying to talk to. What is between you and it? You see, boys and girls, GMRS operates in the 462 megahertz and 467 megahertz range, which some people call UHF, ultra high frequency. And UHF electricities can only travel in line of sight, line of sight. The electricities cannot go through mountains or hills or over hills or through multiple walls like what you would find in a city if there was a city between you and what you were trying to talk to. The UHF electricities cannot go through forests, thick forests, and they don't bounce well off of things. They bounce and scatter, so you can't really bounce off of a mountain or a hill. It just doesn't work well. The UHF electricities like to go in a straight line. That also means that they cannot go around the curvature of the Earth. For those that believe the Earth is curved, the UHF electricities cannot follow that curve of the Earth. So if you're here, and your friend is, say, 10 miles away, over here, if what they say about the Earth being curved is true, those UHF electricities will go right over his head, and you may not be able to talk to him. And this is where many of the experts got their Fisher-Price calculators and ran the numbers, crunched the numbers, and deemed me a liar when I said I could talk 35 miles from my Jeep, my Jeep to my wife's Jeep in the garage 35 miles away. Impossible because of the curvature of the Earth. But what the retards failed to include in their calculus on their Fisher-Price calculators, what they failed, the variable that they missed when crunching the numbers on their Fisher-Price calculators is a new thing. Something that they obviously hadn't thought of because it's so new and hasn't been around very long, that new thing is called a mountain. And these so-called mountains give you what is known as a higher elevation. Many experts use the term height is might, and they would be correct. Because if me or what I want to talk to is on a mountain at a higher elevation, this changes the entire calculation. You have to type different numbers into your Fisher-Price calculator. So to recap, the UHF RF electricities like to go in a straight line. They cannot go through many things. They cannot go over hills and they cannot go around the curvature of the earth, which limits most FARs to about six miles, unless you throw in the secret ingredient, a mountain or elevation. So what does all of this complicated technical jargon mean? I still haven't answered the question, how many FARs can I tox on GMRS? And here is the simple answer. This calculation works virtually all of the time on GMRS or other UHF RF electricity frequencies. If you can see it, you can talk to it. Even if you need a telescope to see it, if you can see it, you can talk to it. Now, if you're using a five watt small handheld and you can see something with a telescope many, many FARs away, five watts you may not be able to talk to it or it might be sketchy or scratchy whether or not you can talk to it from say more than 50 miles away would depend on weather and things because those rf electricities may not like to go through clouds and so on there may be other local interference other people talking between you and it on the same frequencies thereby confusing the rf electricities and making them go awry So the general rule of thumb with UHF or GMRS is, if you can see it, you can talk to it. If you can't see it, drive up on a hill or a mountain until you can see it. And then if you can see it, even with a telescope, you can probably talk to it. So how many FARs does this translate into? Well, pretty much 100% of the time, this means you will be able to talk from a half a mile in FARs up to about 100 miles in FARs. Or in other words, it depends. I told you I would keep it simple. If you have questions, if I didn't explain it simply enough or you still don't understand, leave a comment below. Dickhead comments. Comments answering questions that nobody asks. Comments that are 10 paragraphs long, restating what I just explained. All of those comments will be deleted 
or even better, pinned to the top for everyone to laugh at.